Hi guys, this is Fry Snow. Last time we implemented NPC dialogues, so now we can talk to them. And we also implemented font files and uh, instantiated them in our program, so the correct fonts will be used even after exporting our game as a JAR file. At the end of the last video, I said we were going to implement player life and event class. But sorry, there was a slight change of plans. Apparently, some of you guys are tackling the non-gameplay screen, such as title screen or character creation screen, and wondering how to implement them. So, in this video, we will create a title screen and nothing fancy, it's a really simple title screen. But anyway, let's start. First, we create a new game state. So, public final int title state. And I'm gonna use zero. And then we edit this paint component a little bit. So since we don't need to draw this background tiles or uh, NPCs or uh, yeah, other entities on the title screen, so we add some conditions and specify what to draw and what not. Yeah. Title screen if game state equal title state. And for now, others, so else. And we're gonna move everything else into this else bracket. Also, let's change the default game state uh, to this one, to the title state. So it starts from this state. Okay, let's check. Hmm. So nothing shows up since, you know, we have bypassed all the drawings. So we can still hear the music though. And uh, I don't want to play this music in this title screen. So yeah, let's disable this for now. Okay, then uh, let's draw this title screen. In this title state, we only call UI draw method. But then go to this UI class. And okay, so here, add another condition title state. So dot game state all gp dot title hmm? to state and like others we call a method so draw title screen or something and we're gonna create this method so yeah maybe here public void draw title screen okay then uh, first let's display the game title around here uh, title name and I wanna use kinda large font so let's change the font size derive font and also use bold 96 and then string text equal so game title game title is blue boy adventure and then we're gonna set x and y and x is so we have created this method before so we can use this. So 
so we can get the x wait equal text and y is something like uh, yeah plus three tiles or something gp dot tile size times three and now we set the color set color uh, white and draw string string text and x and y okay let's check hmm yep like this i'm using the current black background color but if you want to set a different color then uh, you can do that by typing like this so first set color set color and uh, any color is fine like yeah you can use rgb number like 70 120 80 or something and then draw rectangle or fill fill rectangle and x0 y0 and screen width screen height like this then yeah you know you can change the background color like this so we have displayed this title name but this looks kind of generic so now we're gonna add a little shadow to this text so this is main color and so before drawing this main text shadow so we first we set the color shadow color so let's use black and then we draw the same text text x1 x and y but uh, slightly move to the right and to the bottom like plus 5 and plus 5 okay let's check yep like this so now the text has a shadow and uh, it looks a bit more I don't know how to say 3D, I guess. But I actually like the original black background color better than this, so I'm gonna change to black and change this shadow color to gray. Yeah, like this. Very simple, but I like it. Okay, now let's display an image. So I want to display the player blue boy image around here. Uh, blue boy image. So first X is so somewhere in the middle. So for now, uh, let's divide the screen width by 2 and y is y plus 2 tiles or something so we add 2 tiles from this y so from text y and then we're gonna draw image so g2 dot draw image and the image is gp dot player dot uh, down one and okay x is x y and width is gp dot tile size times two so 96 pixels width tile size times two or something yeah let's check hmm. and we want to adjust the position a little bit so a, a little to the left 
So since we are displaying the character with this size, so so this is the center point. So we're gonna subtract uh, so this sprite size divided by two. And so this should place the character at the center. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, so basically you can type any number here, like 100 or 200 or any number. But uh, I'd recommend you to choose a number that can be divided by the original tile size, which is 16, 16 pixels. So otherwise, sometimes the sprite becomes kind of a distorted and look a bit ugly. So, okay. Now let's display some menu, so around here, menu, and first let's change the font size, yeah like a half size, 48, a new game, and the x is this one, so we can copy this. X and Y, so we're gonna add one, two, three, maybe four tiles from this image. So GP dot tile size times four, and then draw string. G two draw string text text and Y. And okay, let's copy this and uh, paste, paste. And the second option is load game. And the third one is quit. So let's change this to one tile and one tile. Yep, something like this. Hmm, okay. Ah, uh, maybe a bit higher. Maybe 3.5. Okay, and now we want to select one of these options. All right, first we create an integer. A public int command number, command num, and the default is zero. And then after drawing this new game, we add the if statement and check the current command number. And so if the current command number is zero, then we draw kind of a, like a castle on the left side of this text so somewhere around here so in the case so x minus gp dot tile size or something like that and we can use the same y and so if we want to use um, like a image icon instead of this then uh, yeah, you can use a draw image instead of this draw string. Yeah, let's check. Yeah, so like this. So now let's add this if statement to this load game and uh, quit too. And we're gonna change this command num one and two. And now we edit the key handler so we can change this command num by pressing a key. So yeah, open key handler. And the first we add a if statement, I think. Title state. If gp dot game state equal gp dot title state. Then we add some key input and this time we use W key and S key to move up and move down the castle. 
so uh, yeah. let's borrow copy this and okay so if we press w then uh, we call this command num and we decrease this command num and if you press s key then uh, cursor should go down so we increase this command num yeah like this okay let's check all right so if you press s key yeah like this and if you press w key like this but yeah now we can move this castle but the castle disappears when we hit w at new game or hit s at quit because uh, command num keeps increasing or decreasing so we want to change it so when we hit s key at this quit then the castle loop back to this new game so here we add if statement and uh, ui dot command num if command num is less than zero then uh, two uh, copy and this time so larger than two then command num is zero like this mm. yeah so now the castle is like looping like this all right so now let's add enter key input so we can execute these options and for now we'll take care of this new game and this quit since you know we haven't implemented save and load function yet so we'll leave this for now so we're gonna add another key input code event dot vk enter and here first we check the current command num so we can use switch or if statement uh, pui dot command num if command num is zero then that means we are selecting new game so games so we're gonna change the game state to play state and also we can start the music I think so play music and then that command um, equal one so which means uh load game so yeah add later and finally quit option so if user select this option then uh, we we're gonna exit this program so exit hmm. let's check all right Okay, first let's select this quit press enter oops why <laughs> doesn't work uh not three why i <laughs> i don't know why i put three it's two all right uh, quit yeah so we can finish the program and if you choose new game press enter so game starts Mm, yep. Yeah. Alright, so that's basically it. And from here, it's a little extra section. So you can skip this if you are not interested. But, anyways, maybe some of you guys want to add a bit more stuff, such as a character making screen or displaying basic control or story summary or something like that so i will create a 
bare bones mock-up character class selection screen. So it's just for demonstration and has no actual function, but I hope you get some ideas for your own project. So basically you can add another game state such as a character creation state or story summary state or something like that, but then we will likely end up creating tons of game states. And uh, personally, I want to avoid that. So instead, we create kind of a sub-state in this uh, title state. So in this UI class, okay, we're gonna create integer and uh, I'm gonna name this title screen state. And uh, I type zero. So this time I'm gonna use this number as like, a, for example, like a state of zero is uh, the first screen and the state one is the second screen or something like that. All right, then uh, let's go to this uh, draw title screen. And the first we check the title screen substate. So title screen state, so equal zero. Then we draw this, uh, you know, new game, load game screen like this. And then we're gonna create another condition. If title screen state equal one. And okay, so this key handler two. So the inside of this title state if statement, first we check the substate, the current substate. gp.ui.title screen state and okay so move everything inside so we edit this a little bit so if we select this new game then uh, instead of starting the game but uh, we're gonna change the title screen state to one so we can move on to the character class selection screen so here we can draw the screen dot set color dot white and uh, font size dot get font dot derive font and like a 42 class selection screen and okay string text uh, select your class and x equal get text for centered text Y equal p type size times three or something and the draw string text and x on the y. Okay, and then next to text is text equal fighter and okay. And y plus b dot tile size times three and copy and paste and also yeah let's display the castle so if command num equal zero then g2 dot draw string And okay, x 
minus gp dot tile size a command all right uh, let's copy this and uh, okay so fighter thief and uh, sorcerer and finally okay back or cancel and okay fine fighter command num one two three so this time we have four options and okay so change this to one tile one tile and uh, maybe this is two tiles now take care of the key handler so i don't know maybe we can copy this and uh, paste it here so this time we're gonna check title screen state is one then uh yeah ws basically it works the same but uh, this time we have four options so we change this number to three and we're gonna add one more command num so three and okay and uh, yeah okay so this command num zero is selecting a fighter class yeah you can probably add some uh, fighter specific stats so do some the specific stuff and so this one so this is thief and uh, sorcerer and then and if you want to start the game here then uh, change the game state to play state or if you want to add more stuff then uh, you can create another sub state and uh, yeah do whatever you want and for this fourth option this is a back button so if user select this option then uh, we're gonna change this uh, title screen state to zero so we can go back to the previous screen okay that's it I guess so let's check all right and first choose this new game oops what the freak <laughs> sorry apparently uh, wait a minute enter okay oh else and also this is not necessary now, right? Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Enter. Yes. Okay. Select your class. It's a very primitive character class selection screen. And if you press back, yeah. So we can go back. Yeah, so you can choose whatever class you want, like thief. So yeah, do some thief specific stuff. Hmm. Okay. So we have created a mock-up class selection screen. So that's basically it. That's how you create a title screen. Thanks for watching and until next time.